Hey guys, come on in. This is <coughs> Deb with Art and Grace. Come on guys. It is Thursday Eve, so or Thursday evening, so that means if you are a Monday through Friday worker, you're almost done. And we can always make it through our Friday, right? So pop in, hang out with us. I'm going to show you another easy idea you can use as a painting or mixed media or a TC card or whatever. Hey Brookie, good to see you tonight. How are you today? Hopefully everybody's doing good and having a great week. And if you're not, then this is a place to be. We're going to hang out. We're going to chit chat and hopefully make your days a little better when you're here. This is a super supportive page. I like to support all of you and then you in return are supporting me and each other and so I love when you guys pop in and hang out. And Hi Tina, how are you today? Yes, happy pre-Friday. Hi Mary. Starting to see some people coming in. Hi, Tina. I am happy you're here too, Brookie. Listen, I'm telling you, it's a tough world. I'm not joking. We all know that, but oh, the days are hard, so we need each other. Hi, Cheryl, sweet friend. Hi, Carol. Hi, Debbie. Uh, Jermaine, hello. It has been a while. I miss you guys when you're not here, but I understand. Hi, Ian. Hey, Deborah. Hi, Debbie. Um, look, I want to show you some of the ATCs I have received and give you a huge apology because for you guys who signed up to send me one, I gave you an incorrect address. I gave you an old post office box. So when I went to check it today, um, I was talking to the people there and they were saying, oh, you know, now that you mention it, because I was telling them I, it was so weird I didn't have anything in my box because people had said they were sending me something. So what they think happened was they just returned it and so you will get it back. So if that happens, I'm happy to reimburse you for um, postage because that is so my fault. I have already resent an email with my correct post office box and apology, great apology trying to get this kind of centered in the screen so bear with me but look how cute these are so you may have already seen a picture of this one this one came from Mayor, uh, Donna McNair and super cute I love the girl she it's like a fall look she has and little embellishments and a sticker and paper behind it um, this one came from Mary Nouse. Some of it did come off. You've got to really decoupage that on with a uh, Mod Podge or something to hold it down because it's actual real uh, dried flowers. So I will do that to keep the rest of this down. But it's also beautiful. And I thought these coordinated, don't they? And then this one. This was the third one I got from Phyllis Couch Sours. I'm not even sure if I say her name right. That's what I say in my head. Kout Sours. And um, it's got this really pretty frame. So gorgeous little embellishments on here. So all three of those kind of have a similar theme. I love them all. It's so, so fun to get them. Then these, they did have at the post office. So I got these. Um, this one is from Linda Brown. Or this may have came to my home. I think some of you have my home address um, that are in the VIP group. You're busy with summer? Yes, I know. Hi, Daniela. Hey, Kim Fogel. Hi, Maria. Hope I haven't f missed anybody. Hi, Christy. Hello, Sydney. Sorry if I missed anybody. Um, but this, again, is a gorgeous peacock. And I can't tell if it's a napkin decoupaged on, but it's really pretty. And this is from my friend Linda Brown. And then, look at this. This I have not even taken out, but this came from Anita. I'm trying to think of her last name. It starts with a B, but I can't think of it right now. But it came in this cute little case. So, of course, you do take it out, you know, to put it away. But I thought that was a really cool thing she had found at a craft store. So, look how pretty. Like a church window, stained glass window. And I love that. Love it. That's just beautiful. And then, let me get out this last one. 
It's so, so fun getting these in the mail, you guys. I can't even tell you. This had also a handmade card with it. So look, the card matches the ATC. That's fancy. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Teresa. Yeah, y'all tell me how you're doing and how your weather is and all that. Is that not the prettiest thing with the little feathers, little glitter paper? Um, Faye Fazio. So, yes, I have just had a blast receiving these. And let me show you what I got from Amazon today. I ordered it a couple of days ago. It took a couple of days to get here, maybe even three. Um, so, order early. You know how they are. Sometimes you think it's going to be a day, but it's three days. I got these to send you guys mine in. And this, because when I got one that was a little bit damaged, I decided I needed to protect it better. So you're, you'll get yours in a little case like this. And then you can either keep it in there or you can use that to send another person one of yours or something like that. So all of mine will be going in these little cases. And I thought that was so cool. How's everybody doing? Have you seen the latest little pumpkin I did? We did this in the private group. And... Um, wanted to show y'all up close. I know it's hard to tell in a photo, but it's so pretty. And I don't know if y'all can see the little pearls we added at the end. They're very subtle, but very pretty. Okay, guys, let's get to it. I'm ready. I've got watercolor papers cut out. They're uh, ATC size, so two and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to put a hem on the back. And I actually wanted the how great you are, how great thou art. And I'll, you know, you'll see why as it starts to come together. Oh, thanks, Kim. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much. Thanks, Deborah. Thank you, guys. I'm glad y'all like it. Hi, Lori. Um, so, you know what I do is I always just figure out where I want, you know, what part I want. So, you might want this. You might want this. You might want it sideways. And then I'm going to kind of put it down. So I think, I think now that I'm thinking about it, having this at the top would be pretty. So I think I'm going to see how that would work. Yeah, that'll work good. Okay. So this is a little change from, or maybe I'll do it at the bottom. That's what I'll do. That'll be better. Okay. So let me bend this where I want it to end. And... So what I'm doing is bending that so that when I put my paper back here, I'll know exactly where I want it. And that way, then sings my soul will be down at the bottom of this card like that. Maybe even go a little. I think that's okay. We'll leave it like this. So get out your decoupage, whatever you use, Mod Podge or whatever. This is DecoArt brand and it's just a matte Mod Podge. Uh, Americana Deco Page, I guess, or maybe they do call it decoupage. But anyway, simple, simple. You guys, let me know how you're doing. If you guys will please help me get this out, I would greatly appreciate it because we can see that we don't have very many of us here tonight. And this is happy hour. I want everybody who's had a rough week to be here, get cheered up, you know, get to let us know how they're doing and all the things and they don't know okay so just put a little bit of that on and then I'm gonna lay this flat where I want it and it was yes right here and then just press it down now sometimes I use a glue stick a glue stick is the easiest way to get paper down when you're doing this but I have not made it back to the dollar store to get more glue sticks so I'm just using my decoupage here. Hi, Janice. Thank you, Christy. Let me know if you sprinkled. I'll send this card that we make today to one of you that do. So I can tell by the little, let's see if it shows it on Christy's. Or, yeah, see on Christy's how it has the little man and the little arrow kind of thing? That's what that is. That tells me that she sprinkled, so... I'll come back through here tonight, usually do it kind of late, and grab all the names, and then we'll do a little giveaway. 
actually also I'll put something else into it because I've been you know I've been organizing this room and I did a little bit of cleanup on my napkins and paper hello um, Jill good to see you thank you guys I see you thank you Linda and Cheryl Teresa Kim hi Penny how are you Kim thank y'all for sprinkling and hearts help too you know just letting Facebook know hey we're here we're doing something okay I see a little corner sticking up so I'm just gonna flip that back thank y'all for the hearts I appreciate it helping me out I appreciate it so the corners are uh, important to get down really well so I am gonna kind of make sure that I didn't fail my corners here that will keep them from coming up you know especially if somebody does try to put this into one of the little books then um, just like your paint squeeze off any extra decoupage medium when you're doing this kind of thing and then throw it in your water hi Janet um, so that's our background and I think I'm gonna paint on top of it tonight and then I might embellish it also I pulled out a few other things like um, stick or these uh, press-ons things like that and then I'm going to show you I'm going to get this a little lower if I can I don't know if that will sorry for the bumpiness but is that at all better thank you Deborah appreciate you guys very much okay so let's grab a pencil and just kind of sketch something on here but I want to leave that there so let's do trying to think how I want this to look we're gonna do a whimsical bird I do a lot of birds because I love nature and um, you know it's just a when I'm in nature and really take a look around you know it kind of makes me really want to worship and to think you know wow all the things that he made for us to enjoy I mean we're kind of ruining our world but he gave us a lot of things to enjoy so just a super basic little bird shape is all I kind of needed to get my bearings where I want it and I'm gonna leave you know the words there and then we're just gonna paint a simple simple basic bird and you guys can do this so don't think oh she's painting I can't do that yes you can promise 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 thank you Marsha hi Sheila I'm glad you're here yes hi Carol thank you guys for being here happy Thursday evening let me know how your week is how can we help you or pray for you you know if you've had a rough one let us know that you need some prayer you don't have to give us any reasons just you know I like having sisters on the page and and I know you guys are here for each other okay so just three colors is all I'm gonna start with and a little small brush obviously because this is very tiny yes I see you Jill don't we all really I mean goodness I talk to people literally every day that's better is that a better little bit closer for y'all talk to people every day see yes Teresa I hear you I'm gonna go back and write these down too um, okay so let's let's get going um, beak you think what color I'm gonna want this beak? I'll get out a little orange for the beak this is gonna be a happy card for somebody who needs it and if we have many people who need it, maybe I'll do more. I think it's important, and I say this a lot, to surround yourself with not only people who lift you up, that's vital. Um, limit your time with people who drain you or make you feel sad or bad, and then spend more time around people who lift you up, who encourage you, who are not negative, you know, those kind of things. It doesn't mean to dump everybody from your life that's, you know, somewhat negative because there's a lot of depression going on, you know, and so 
but I just mean if it's a toxic situation where, you know, sometimes you really have to greatly limit what you are around. Okay, so I've just watered down my acrylic paint just a little bit so that we can still see some of the words behind the bird. And I'm just kind of starting with the head, just getting some paint on our little bird. Simple as that. And then we'll kind of add some other colors. But these little things like this are so easy. You don't need much paint. You don't need, um, you know, really don't need anything. Let me see what Kim said. 100% Kim, they've been on my mind for days and just, it is just horrific and heartbreaking and I can't fathom how scared and alone they feel, but I know that that God is with them even when it doesn't make sense, you know, and, and, uh, but yes, I hope that we are all keeping them in prayer, you know, and, and sometimes it's easy to think, you know, you, you hear about it and you think, you know, oh, that's awful and go on. But we, they do. So every time you think about it or hear a story, if you'll just utter a prayer um, that, you know, for those people, it's just, you know, I know that prayer works. So, hello, Nancy. Working on the last of the 10 ATCs you started this afternoon, Christy. That's amazing. I have just had a blast doing them. And if you haven't done any yet, I think you would really like it. They're so quick and easy. So like you can do one in about 15 minutes or so, depending on what you do, maybe faster. Um, and, and that's why I like to pop on here and show y'all some ideas. Because even if you don't make an ATC, like artist trading card is what that is if you're new here. But um, even if you don't make an ATC, you can see some little easy art that you could do in an art journal. I'm just using this orange for her wing. Give her a little wing. But colorful things make me happy, so I thought this would be a good one. Thank you, Katana. How are you today? I hope you guys are doing okay. And Does anybody have any good news to share? I know lots of young people are about about to start college and most of our young ones have already started school back. Lots of prayers for them because there this is a, you know, very different time. Kids are under so much more pressure than we ever were. And so if you can think about think about how hard school was sometimes for you whether it was socially or academically um Maybe you had a problem with a teacher or a friend or whatever. I mean, these kids are facing so much more than we did. So definitely be praying for all of them and for their teachers. Okay. Let's give him or her some little feet. You see, this is not a perfect bird, but it's still cute. So listen we just you saw me just kind of hand give it a little sketch nothing fancy nothing just a little tiny sketch so it doesn't have to be perfect that's what I want to get through is that it can be wonky it can be just imperfect and still adorable let's give it an eye Um, I should go ahead and show y'all how I do a bird eye. So let's just do that. If you'll take a little bit of white and do a circle. Actually, I usually do charcoal. So let me, or, you know, gray. Let me, let me just do that. Mix up a little light gray. And make a little circle. Like so. And then come back, sometimes you can use the back of your brush if you've got a small one, and dot on your black, and then just dot it right on top of what you just did. You don't want to cover the whole thing, but you want to leave a little bit of that showing. 
that will give you a really good background for that eye. I didn't leave very much showing. You can see a little of it, but that will give you a good eye. And if you have trouble, excuse me, my arm reaching, but if you have trouble, grab a toothpick. And that's what I'm going to use for the center of the eye because it is so tiny. I just want a little dot like that. You can even use that to kind of give your beak a highlight or something like that. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Lori. Thank you, Cheryl. I like happy colors. Glad I'm not going to... I know. Isn't that the truth, Cheryl? Ron and I, we both went, you know, and ran errands today. And um, I was saying on the way over there how... I feel old because I'm saying how much better our days were, like in the 80s when we were in school, like it was so fun and, you know, of course there were issues, but nothing like today. Um, and I just, it breaks my heart for kids that have to worry about safety and things. Let's give her a crown now that I'm looking at it. I think she needs a little crown. So we're going to give her a little, what I call a VIP crown. My little logo for the VIP group is kind of like this little three-pronged crown we're gonna put on her I would love for you guys that are not in there to consider being in it I'm gonna open it up let's see I believe yes I think it's the 21st is when I'm gonna open it but only for the week and then it'll be closed for quite a while again um, but I love you know, anybody who wants to be in there, I really want to encourage you because we have a great time and do lots of fun things together. And Okay, let me dry this so I can add some glitter and other things to the crown. Whoop. If you're in the VIP group, somebody may ask a question about it. Y'all can help me. Um, but I encourage them to be honest you know I want them to tell y'all what they like or don't like or wish there was more of I ask them all the time I probably drive them crazy but I'm always saying you know is there anything y'all want more of or less of let's see here reaching for my glitter I like using craft twinkles because it's beautiful gold glitter without any mess Oh, somebody said they love it. Let me look and see. Thank you, Sydney. I'm so glad you're there. Yes, Christy's like my OG. She's been with me, Christy, from day one, right? Uh, and I would say Christy knows me really well. We talk, you know, lots of us talk one-on-one, -on -one, and Christy's one that I just treasure. She's such a, become such a good friend, like, she would be more than welcome to come stay with us anytime, that kind of friend. And I love that about the group. You know, you get to know people on such a different level than just on a live. On a live is great, too, and that's how I met all of them. But we do get to know each other a lot better in the group. So there's her cute little crown with glitter. Love it. Oh, thank you, Jerry. How are you? I have not seen you in a bit. I'm so glad to see you. I tried to post something in your group and it wouldn't let me. I don't know. I, maybe I need to go back in there as myself and not my page. I don't know. I was going to share something. Now, you know that I love to use my Micron pens. So I'm going to grab one of those. I either like a 5 or a 3. I pretty much hardly ever use my 1. Um, so I'm grabbing a five here. I don't even see my three. Mr. Ron better not have it. I'm going to start with a three because it's a little smaller. The nib size is what that means. Let me show you. See the, that one's almost used up too. So that's a three. And that's a five. A five's good. I like the five. Let's, it's fine. There's not a whole, whole lot of difference in those two. There's a lot of difference in the one. It's tiny. Hello, Nanette. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, Cheryl, my, you don't have to ever thank me. That is, I feel like that's a big part of what I'm here for, is to be here for you ladies, you know? Like, I needed support, you know, at a time in my life when I didn't have enough. And so, 
I really want to be that for other people. You know, so anybody who needs it, you know, I'm happy to be a prayer partner. And But I just go through here and kind of scribble around, you know, the outline of whatever it is that I just did. And I like a scribbled look. You can make it real neat. But there, this is just kind of a style that I adopted, kind of scribbly. And that's what I like. And I'll even go over the little foot or right under the brown. Kind of darkens that up. And then we can make the bird kind of fun. So we could put circles. So just, you know, I'm just doing some kind of repetitive circles. Oh, Kim, so glad you are. There's no contract, so nobody's ever obligated to stay, but we do become close, and then it's really hard when people leave, but, you know, it's it's definitely month to month. Um, I do have an option for yearly, so you do get two months free if you want to do that, but most people want to start with the, you know, the monthly to see if they like it and if they're going to enjoy being in there and whatever. Um, maybe some little, like this, you know, just some little, huh? but see how that dressed it up, and I'm going to go around this uh, glitter part, but I'm trying to let it dry first. I want to be sure I didn't miss something. Okay, then, if you want to do any stamping, any, you know, you I could have done that first. I kind of like the look of this clean card. So that's probably all I'm going to do. Maybe, of course, I'm going to put color on the edges like I always do. Let me dry that glitter a little bit. And then I'll... Hi, Nelda. Nelda's a VIP here. Happy Thursday to everybody. You made it. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh. Don't hold it too close. To use your micron pen, that does have to be totally dry, so I'm just going to kind of go around it without touching it because it still could be just a little bit wet where that glitter is. But as long as you don't touch it and just go around it, cute. See, that just really makes it stand out and makes it fun. So then what I did was I cut out some words. So let me tell you, see how I have my candle going? Can y'all see that? Is it in the picture? Hi, Annette. How are you tonight? Hello, Lynn. Elizabeth, I'm just making fun for fun and I'm going to send this to somebody who sprinkled the video tonight. So just for fun, I like to give y'all ideas. You can take this little bird and paint it. You could make a card. You could paint it on a canvas or make an ATC. There's just a million things. But look, I had set this right on top of my candle without knowing. Like I just moved some things over and just kind of plopped it down and look. So we could have had an emergency here. <laughs> Thankfully, I saw it was like, ah! <laughs> But sometimes I forget that I had had the candle going even. So anyway, that's what happened there. But this is already in the VIP group. Anything that I use or any tracers that I do, they go right in there. So it's already there. So we'll kind of put some color on this. And then you, but you'll see a lot words used in mixed media. So, you know, don't be afraid. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, let me think, a, just give me a second to picture this. I want to picture, I think I do like that. I'm going to do a wash around this little bird and then do that. Oh, thank you, Sheila. I, I just think that we need some more happy, you know, like we need to surround ourselves with happy things, things that make us smile or make us feel good and not, not that. I think it needs yellow. I'm, get, I'm, I'm changing my mind on the fly, y'all. I think I want yellow. Let me grab a different palette. That one's got too much on there. I can't even see what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab a little yellow. Hey, Dana. How was your work day? Tomorrow's Friday. 
Yes, colorful makes me happy. It probably does a lot of people. And I need to make this. I probably should just sit after this and make a whole batch of these and pass them out at church or something because we have some sweet little ladies that could probably use a little happy. So I'm going to kind of water this down. I'm going to get a lot of water on my brush and kind of drag my paint over here where it's a, more of a wash and just see how I like that. So we're going to do a wash kind of around our little bird. So our words will still show, but it'll have all that color. You can use watercolor, watercolor pencils, just anything that you have to add some color on. You know, it doesn't have to be acrylic paint. I just do a lot of stuff with acrylic paint. I just, that's my go-to. So, let me get a little more water on my brush. Pull a little more paint over here. Mine was good too. We had our 37th anniversary yesterday. Can y'all believe I'm that old? And then um, we had Texas Roadhouse. This is what I requested. Can you believe? It's so not fancy, but I'm a very basic person. Ron really hit the lottery with having um, to buy me things because I don't require anything, really. I'm super easy to, I think. He may be like, I don't know about that. No, I really, I was like, I just want Texas Roadhouse. And then today we... We did run a couple of errands together, and then I've been working, but it's been a good day. Thank you, Tony. How are you, friend? I'm glad you're here. Did you get a notification? So now with this one, I'm going to do the same thing with some of that pretty aqua paint, and that will be a really pretty contrast. Yes, doesn't it just scream happy? Oh! <gasps> Carol, congratulations. Happy anniversary. That is such an accomplishment these days. You know, it's hard. And, and you know, when, when young people see people my age and they think, oh, well, it's easy for them. They're old. It's not easy. I don't think any marriage is easy. I'm just going to put this down and rub, rub that over. I'm going to grab a little bit of water on my finger because I got a lot of paint and just kind of thin it out with my wet finger. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of thinning out that aqua a little bit and blotting. And there you go. And then I'll dry this with, uh, with my little heat gun in a second. But see, just put it on, kind of do a little rubbing if you need to, to calm it down. And that's that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, just that it's hard and, and you have to forgive each other often and kind of let go of the small stuff and all that. But marriage is not easy. People that say it's so easy, I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, goodness. That's hot and I'm don't want to burn myself either. Okay. Thank you, Trisha and Gloria. Thank you, guys. And happy anniversary. Big time for Carol. Okay. And you can cut these up, too. I'm going to do that, I think. I am going to ink it first, and you know how what I said about I'm a finger person. You can use a stamp pad, but I typically just get my finger in some paint and kind of go around the edges. I got my stamp pad out. And it would be neater, but this is my thing. I just can't help it. I just, I'm like, it's like paint's just attached to my finger here. That actually, I might like that better now that I put the black around it. Let's just 
come on, come on. So I'm going to use my little handy dandy toothpick to stab it. Carol, are y'all eating out or anything? The thing about once you pass, you know, you're 30, you know, you're just so comfortable and everybody knows what everybody wants and so, I don't know, it's not a big deal to us or to me anyway, where we eat or what we do, you know? Okay. Let me try this way and see if I like it this way. And there we got still can see the words. But I pictured it kind of up here at the top. Do y'all like it as one piece? Or do you like it cut up? Can you can you tell how that would look? Dana, very good. Y'all let me know. Do you like it one piece or cut it up? Stay at home. Yeah. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Cut up and stack, Sydney says. That's what we'll do. So, sometimes when I do cut it up, I'll put my words just a little farther apart, you know. It makes it much easier, but I had planned to just use it all one. But all you have to do is whatever phrase you're wanting to use, just put it on a like a Word document or something and then print it out. I'm going to do ink this time so that I'm not waiting on things to dry. Ink gives me a little different look. Paint is just what I like because it's a little, I don't know, messier look, if you will. as you can see this is so tiny it's easy to just kind of rub it on that ink pad and ink up the edges this would be this would be a really good one to do in batches I think and then just mail them out You can also use stamp pads. So, you know how you saw me just freehand the little bird and it was super easy and no big deal and it's not perfect. But if you really are uncomfortable with that, get a stamp pad, stamp a bird, and then just paint it in. So, there's ways around, you know, whatever you're not loving, you can find a workaround for sure. And then I'm going to grab a little decoupage medium here. Actually, I'm going to cut this a little shorter, too. Since I have the other end short, that one needs to be a little shorter. And can you imagine, like, going to work and finding one of these sitting on your desk? Or, you know, checking the mail and you get something like this instead of a bill. So I'll put the decoupage on the bottom and on the top. Your, uh, your paint needs to be dry because if it wasn't, um, it would smear all over the place. Whoops, I did that upside down. Don't 
That one is a little long too, darn it. How cute, you guys. Don't y'all like something like something so simple that can make somebody happy? Right? Now, um, I'm going to do some paint around the edges, or you can use your ink pad, and I'm thinking. I'm going to trim just a touch off. Do I want the hot pink color or do I want black because both would be okay so y'all let me know I'm gonna kind of come back once I put that yellow wash on see how it kind of dulled a little bit of my pen so I'm coming back and scribbling And I am going to go around the outside. Even though it's got black on the edges, I still like to scribble. Now, I'm really being daring because this probably isn't very dry. But as long as it's dry, it's not going to hurt my pen. And it's doing okay. This last one I doubt is dry. So I'm going to barely touch down and go there. So what color, black or pink, around the edges? It is, that's why I'm here, guys, to show you that it is, it can be simple. It does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. You know, this didn't take us long, and I'm talking and looking at comments. So let's do the fuchsia, and then if we don't like it, we'll go over it with black. How about that? Let's just go for it. Since we're kind of all about the color today. Something about it that I think, you know what I might do? I might. I don't know. Maybe it is okay like that. I started to say maybe I should add something along that edge. But not every inch of it has to be covered. Give her a little special eye. Y'all see anything else it needs? It's good. Hi, Gloria. Thank you guys. The pink looks good. Good. I like the pink too. That's just kind of brings it all together. It just kind of gives it a little extra something when you give a border to it. Thanks, Sydney. All right, guys. There's our newest idea. I love doing these and it's just a great example of, you know, how you can spend very little time but get something really cute or really pretty that you can share. Also, another cool thing to do, and I've told you all this before, is take words. If you have something like this and you just see a word like flowers or, you know, welcome, uh, joy, and just cut that out and use that. Beauty. Just seeing if I see anything that speaks to me on this card. Uh, do y'all see anything? Sunshine kind of goes with it, but it may be too big. Let's just look and see, but I'm probably going to say it's too big. So if I want to use something like this, I'll cut all of this brown out. Just literally go right around that little eye and cut right up to the letter because I don't need that brown 
piece if I'm just going to use the word. Oh, Gloria, you're welcome. Hope you have a good one, too. I hope that there's somebody here tonight that's like, I'm so glad I got on here. I do feel better. You know, just getting outside of your circumstance for a minute and kind of being with other people is nice. So you could put that there. What do y'all think? I don't know that it needs it. I have it. I have it. What about some little... Oh, y'all, this. Let's do this. little music notes over here this is really the only one that I draw how about that perfect yay okay I thought there's something that little edge just needed a little something but again, it doesn't have to always be perfect or, you know, you can have open space. That's it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for being here. And I appreciate every one of you, especially if you sprinkled. Be sure that you, um, well, you don't have to tell me. I'll look for that little man with the little sign like Sydney has right by her name. That's how I know that you sprinkled publicly and I will go back and add you guys to a wheel and draw and send one of you this little card right here. So when you get it, this is what it's going to be. And remember, if you have signed up to send me one, check your email. It'll come from Art and Grace, so you may have to do a search. But I had accidentally given you an old P.O. box. And I'm afraid that if you send it there, it's going to get returned right back to you. So please check your email for the new address to send me a card. When I get yours, I'm sending you one. And I am happy to reimburse you if it comes back to you for postage because it's my fault. I was not careful enough and I apologize. But just let me know. I just can't, couldn't believe I did it. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm glad y'all were here. Well, y'all have a great night, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.